What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new here, my name is Lipsy, this is Edward. And if you have not yet subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos, guys. So today, I'm like in live, you forgot to film an intro. <laughs> yeah, we can't do it. So it's, it's already like, I don't know if the camera's gonna catch it, but it's already eight in the night, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna show you guys how we flip um, shoes with the, with any kind of money. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna show you guys how to flip money with shoes. Um, and we actually copped a couple pairs today. I hope you guys do enjoy. Um, and we're bringing back more sneaker videos. We haven't done that in a while. Yeah, we haven't. In a while. <laughs> we went through like, no, I'm not in a different lane, but we're back. Right? We're back and we're better. <laughs> I know you guys like those kind of videos too, because they do really well. Huh? Yeah. So I, that means you guys must like them. Yeah. yeah. Probably like a lot of retailers subscribe to the yeah. channel. Yeah, <laughs> probably just behind the scenes, something that people maybe might not tell you or show you what it's like to be a reseller. And this is just a little bit. All right, so we made it to the mall. We're gonna go to Foot Locker because we have, I don't know if this is the GS or the 10 men. The dollar came with me because I, I was able to come out, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Abby, Jazz, Rue, Edward, if you've seen this, you know what we're talking about. <laughs> so I had to pick a reservation at... Uh -uh, you can come whenever you want, before they close. This is nice. I swear, you never been here? No, I've never been here. Why is it all blurry? You're not blurry, but I'm blurry. Okay, but... Ooh, this is nice. <laughs> No roaches, no roaches. <laughs> Wait, I'm trying to see which shoe it is. Oh, so I'm picking up the ten and a half men. Wow. <laughs> Learn through two? It's small though. They don't have a lot of stores. It's nice. Ooh, this is nice. Girl. This all this is you right here? Okay. They don't smell like roaches in here or nothing. Alright, so I made a full locker. Is that full yeah. This is like my camera woman for the day. Let's see if she passes the dog. It's a lot of pressure. What's your fit? Pandas, Dickies, Forever um, 21, Air Forces, Black Cargo, shirt from Cotton On, and then Manny's jacket. <laughs> You know someone at Oh, <laughs> well, you texted her? No, I didn't. She probably found my name. Oh. Hello. 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 I already know who you are, but can I take your ID? Yeah, that, oh, that's what I asked. <laughs> Did you need my ID? Alright. Pop the shoes, ten and a half. You want ten and a half, hit me up. Real make cakes. <laughs> Alright, next up, Northridge Mall. I got oh sh Northridge Mall. I have a six and a half. But I think I'm gonna keep it. I wanna buy it off of you. You actually like it? I didn't see it. <laughs> then why do you wanna buy it off of me? <laughs> Alright guys, we've made it to the Beverly Center. That's where my first pickup is at. Uh, I'm inside the parking garage one little tip that I can give you guys if you're out there It's good to find free parking. It's cool But from experiences if you guys seen the video like it was like a over like a year ago Where it says like he was having a rough week. That was me. I Would go pick up my shoes on Hollywood and Highland, which is my next stop if you can pay for parking pay for parking like I highly recommend that cuz I got my car towed like three times that month. All right, we switched to the GoPro. We're here. We gotta go to level six because that's where it's at. Um, hopefully, you guys can see how it's done. It's like a little process once you. I went off Foot Locker's. I'm gonna pick up a reservation. I'm still gonna need to scan the QR code though. Okay. And that's yours, right? Yeah, that's mine. Here it is, guys. 
Oh, this is so beautiful. All right, and it's gonna be 164.25, and we're paying with card, right? Yes. Yeah, we got, we secured the bag, and now we're gonna go get uh, the size 11 that I hit for. Personally, I, <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep that pair because I don't know, I love it. But I don't know, who knows, but let's go pick it up. All right, so before we go pick up the shoes, we got hungry. So, this is where we're at. <laughs> and what'd you get? I got a Hawaiian pizza, but without the pineapple. Oh, it's not a Hawaiian pizza. It's a ham pizza. And then I got the, you know, the barbecue, I don't know what it's called. I think it's like barbecue chicken pizza. We're gonna eat, and then we're gonna go pick up the shoes. <laughs> 12 seconds later. We just finished eating. We're freaking full. We got a spinach dip and two pizzas, one each. I got the barbecue one, that one's good. If you haven't gone, what was it called? California barbecue chicken pizza. No, the place. Oh, California pizza ch kitchen. Yeah, chicken. <laughs> there, that one, okay. Um, so we're gonna, we're at Northridge Mall. <laughs> we're gonna go pick up the Jordan 3 Apple Locker. That's the last one we have. Once we get back in the car, We'll get back to you guys. I'm so full, I can't even talk. <laughs> and then we're gonna rate the shoes, and then we're gonna go home, and then meet up with Edward. I bought a ring. <laughs> <laughs> and I bought shoes. <laughs> All right. So this is a six and a half Y Jordan 3 cement. I might buy them. And I don't know if I'm gonna keep them. Ooh, um, what do you rate the shoe? A 10 out of 10. ten. You really like yeah, it? I like it. <laughs> um, I think I'll rate it like a eight. I like it. These are the threes, guys. It's a month. Uh, comment down below where you rate it. I think an eight out of ten. I think a ten out of ten. The quality is good. It just it doesn't look like it's like uh they didn't mess up. Like before, they were like messing like up. Factory floss? Yeah, they had a lot of factory floss. This one's fine. I don't know. I might hold on to them or I might sell them. I usually hold on to them for a while and then, and she then sells them. yeah, I sell them. I'm like, I haven't worn them. I'm never gonna wear them. And then I'll sell them. That's me picking up my shoes to sell or to keep. And then now we're gonna go home. And then I actually have more shoes that I bought today. <laughs> so. I actually won. You won more? Yeah. So on the Nike app, the some pandas dropped today, and then I actually got a panda size 11 men. So I won that one, and then on the sneakers app, I actually got another Jordan 3. So I won that one. So let's see. In total, today I spent. Damn. Today I've spent $746 guys on just shoes. So let's see how let's see how much I get of $746. Okay. Let's see that's bad. No, it's Hopefully we sell them today so you guys can see how much profit we get. But if not, I'll probably have like a part two when I actually sell them. We made it to Hollywood and Highland. It's drizzling outside a little bit. But we're here to pick up the pair. All right, I have everything ready for the size 11 right here. I don't know. I low key want to keep it, but I don't know. I don't have a pair of three, so this would be my first one. Literally, I'll probably just keep them. Whatever. I can't. I can't go. I can't pass that up, especially for retail. Come on. Awesome, thank you so much. You too. Bag secured. I'm definitely keeping it. Did you guys see the box? Oh my god, I'll show you guys more in the car. All right, so here's the men's pair right here. One thing I already noticed off the bat is the age look of the box. As you can see, like the age box where it's like all beat up and stuff. You see it's all white, it's starting to get old. I love how they did that on the men's pair. 
It sucks how they don't do that on the GS pair. I don't know why, but I think they should, in my opinion, just so they can like admire something too. But for the men's pair, the age look of the box, size 11, that is my size. We're gonna go ahead and open it. And as you guys saw, I'm sure you guys saw this, the tag right here off rip. And it explains you how the shoe is made. That's, you know, this, that, that's a classic, that's an OG classic right here. Even the paper's all faded. It's dope. It literally shows you how the shoe is made right there. So I think that's pretty dope. Um, box paper, same thing. It's not a, it, it has the, the elephant print or whatever print that is. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Look at this right here. Yo. Oh my God. I love it. Quality is amazing. At least for what I got. Because I know sometimes I get decent quality, I get shitty quality, and I get really good quality. But the only thing I don't like is how they did this. How they, it's the little plastic thing. They really went, they really went old school on this. Look at this right here. It's like, it's like when you get a new shirt, you just rip it off. I don't like how they did that. They should have put, they should have put the chain in my opinion. But I guess it's to show like the vintage kind of style, the OG, the OG style. Like this is really old <laughs> right here, but quality is amazing. No glue stains on this one. No stitching is not weird. The material, the oh, I just love the leather on them. I love the leather on them. I think I'm gonna keep this. I don't have a Jordan Three, and if it's one to keep, it's gonna be this one for sure. So if you're a size 11 and you're watching this, I'm sorry, but this is mine. Look the yellowing as well. Just you just you can just look at the leather. It's so awesome. All right, guys. So right here is mine so right now as of right now i only have a 5y in hand i know litzy hit more pairs than i did because i didn't wake up for the sneakers drop so there was a sneakers drop today the full lockers were announced yesterday and which is why i got here today litzy hit like on three pairs or four i don't remember but yeah that's what it is guys and let's flip them let's flip them i'm definitely keeping that pair so you can be mad at me, I don't care, I'm keeping it. <laughs> All right guys, so <clears throat> I do not have the pair with me, but <laughs> but this is obviously the box that you guys saw in the previous clips. Um, I got two 5Ys, I hit my size, which I said already, size 11, and I'm definitely keeping that. I was gonna sell it, how didn't I call you? Yeah. I was there begging for us to sell it, but I don't have Jordan 3s, Litty has a Jordan 3. But I don't have one, so I was like, whatever, I'm, I'm gonna keep it. So I got two five Ys, and I can actually give you guys a total. So total, I spent $337 for both pairs. Disregard the size 11, that's my, I don't care how much I spent. But retail was like 229 huh? Yeah, 229 with some cents, right? 230 remember two, Oh yeah, recession, sorry, <laughs> 230 So yeah, 230 but... That's retail price. They go for about like 300, 300. Right now, 300. 300. That's what lowest ask is. And we always try to stay with lowest ask so people can save a lot of money. Yeah, people are selling it for like 320 the most. But you can always negotiate. So. Yeah. I got, as you guys saw, 10 and a half in hand, which I got from Foot Locker. And then I have a 6 and a half Y, which I might keep. I still don't know yet. I'm on the verge of like a yes and no, so I don't know. I still put it up for sale, but I don't know. If someone gives me a good offer, then I might go sell it, but I don't know. And then I also got a size 10 men, but off of a sneaker app. So that should be getting here soon. And then I also got a Dunk Low Panda size 11 men. So with all that, I spent today $746 with the four shoes that I got off of retail, okay? This is just retail. This is not like negotiating with other resellers or anything like that. No, this is retail. And retail is the best way to go when you're like selling sneakers because then you maximize your profit or you can always negotiate, negotiate and give a good price. And usually when you uh, buy off of other resellers, you, you limit your profit and your negotiation with like other people so it's good to copy retail let us know if you guys want to see a part two in this uh to see how we actually sell it and how we manage the money from there 
see how long it takes us to double our money and let us know in the comments down below guys well, we've honestly haven't been smart with our money so this is probably like a good way to be smart with our money and actually double our money and triple our money and like actually do it because we don't we haven't been doing it correctly either yeah, yeah. <laughs> it can be a plus for us as well yeah, <laughs> all right guys so we'll see you in the next one How are you guys doing?